Dank Souls. Dank Souls. Come on, everybody. It's Dank Souls. Alright. Uh, this is part two of my, uh... Hour. Dark Souls. It's, it's bad. This is me playing. Dude, it's bad. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can take credit for this one. Yeah, this, uh, I'm doing great here. Uh, you know, looking for secrets. I made Sean, like, really anxious because I was like, dude, dude, watch out. He's like, mm, he's not having it. No. I fell off, like, two times over here. <laughs> just because I'm dumb. He's <laughs> just like... Like... Well, like, he actually found an item, which surprised me, because I was like, Sean, there's no items around here. Yeah. And he's like, that. <laughs> he just walked around and found an item. Yeah, I think this is where I found that item. Yeah. Yeah. What was it? Soul of Lost and Dead. Yeah, that gives you, like, what, two souls? 20, I think. Exactly. Well, early game, that's pretty good. I guess. Then down here, it looked like... So you <laughs> go around here... <laughs> First, I was expecting I could like put like a smooth and silky stone in there. No, nothing. And then that looked like a ledge I could jump down to, so I tried to, but it didn't work. <laughs> Which was awesome. It is and great waste of time. To make it even better, he forgot to collect his souls. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. So we couldn't level up. So all the stats are still a whopping eleven. That's right. We have a third member of commentary here. Her name is Kirby. It's a cat. It's a fluff cat. Most people are recording like an office, but we're recording in the middle of the living room. So like, it's because we don't have an office. Because we're poor. <laughs> so if somebody like comes over here and like makes a noise, you'll probably hear that. What's that? <laughs> what was that? Speak <laughs> <laughs> of the devil. No, don't do that. Here's a cutscene for you guys. I forgot how to skip, which is why I watched through this. I don't thought this was a boss, right? Definitely didn't. No? No, dude. I thought it was the first time. It wouldn't give you a chance. It wouldn't, like, not give you a chance to fight it. No, because a lot of bosses, there's cutscenes beforehand. With the lady talking, though? To the land of the ancient. No. Ah, uh, young Padawan. <laughs> ben. Lord <laughs> Lord Ran. Lord Dan. Dan. So apparently you're not supposed to go up into the red. Why not? Because it hurts people's ears. Dude, then they've got pussy ears, let me tell you. Jesus Christ. God, how are we supposed to monetize videos if you don't behave? Monetize for monetize, let's get famous first. <laughs> Yo, you found a humanity. Oh, uh, yeah. Within myself. And this is when we realized that we were playing online. Yeah. I would have completely died if that had actually been a fight. Speaking of dying... I think I'm gonna turn on offline play on mine, just cause I wanna play alone. Wow, what are you... What are you... Uh, no, because I wanna play the game and I don't wanna like, die to other people cause I'm already bad at the game. And then people will get mad cause I'm apparently an R1 spammer. What? You just hit the attack button over and over again. Like, isn't that what you're supposed to do? Yeah, isn't that what you're supposed to do? If <laughs> not... Oh, this guy. I would think <laughs> under, I thought I could just, you know, gank him. But no, it turns out he has pretty good armor. And you have a club. I, have I loved playing as the brave. Would that would please you? That's so creepy. That's probably the other reason I want to kill this guy. He just seemed creepy. And then I just, I just didn't join his covenant. You damn fool. Enough of you! Feel the wrath of the gods! Pretty, de pretty decent voice acting, though. Yeah, not bad. It's not like... Oblivion level. <laughs> Skyrim levels. Yeah. I, I used to be an adventurer like you. And I took an arrow to the knee. What if you actually took an arrow to the knee? I bet you could still adventure, just get some crutches. See, this is funny, because John was like, Oh no, he won't follow me, dude, I'm good. 
Yeah, he just kept following. <laughs> was not expecting that. Yeah, because in Dark Souls 2, if you attack an NPC and then you leave the area, they're like, fine, guess I'll go back to my post with this guy. Nope. And Sean didn't believe me when I said that water is walking water that you can walk in. Yeah, I don't believe that for a second. No, it is. I still don't believe you. I only trust Wikipedia. <laughs> but yeah. Then he... I don't know why he didn't just rest at the bonfire. I could have done that. Yeah, and then he would reset. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Oh well. So this is basically a boss fight for Sean right here. Except I stand even less of a chance. I mean, I probably wouldn't mind playing as Depraved. No, you would, believe me. Well, no, because I told you my strategy, right? Take off all my armor so I can move faster? Look at that movement speed, man. You're so quick. In the background, you can see the dude running up to you. Yeah. <laughs> this part's great. It's my favorite. I was really trying hard here. Yeah, he was. He was. <laughs> this guy came. I was like, oh, damn it. Drink up. That's a good dodge right there. Proud of that one. <laughs> and then he got like... Yeah. When I saw that happen, I was like, oh, 200 damage. Damn, 200 damage. Maybe I could get him to fight the other guy. So I was trying to circle him around. And, and then just, he like did that. He I just don't... healed and was like, what? That might have been a damage resistance. Oh uh, yeah, that could have been that too. And then he did that. He did that. And it just went downhill. More like just down a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> It just gets me. I kept trying for a while too before I gave up. It's pretty, pretty uh. Yeah, Sean didn't give up. He fought until the bitter end. Well, almost. <laughs> He's like, kill me. Then I chopped my arm off. <laughs> they don't get that joke. Oh yeah. At that point, I just realized it was done for, so I just went for it. Ah, uh, you're welcome. Such a riveting gameplay right here. You can see Sean tried not. I have a phone call from my mom, one second. <laughs> hey, mom. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> alright. Alright. Now I'm gonna do this again without the one dude getting there. Uh, alright. So, I actually got farther this time. Except, I fell off another cliff uh, at the end there. Oh, it's pretty dope. Pretty great. Awesome content. Ah! As I was saying in the previous episode, in Dark Souls 2 I usually play with a spear and a great shield, so I just hide behind that sucker and then poke it with a long stick because I'm that's how I play. Alright, this guy was throwing bombs. I dodged this. Well, it wasn't really a dodge, but I got out of his way in good time. And the other guy was just standing there on the cliff, not moving, making me angry. I was really scared I was going to fall off when I tried to get him. There's a couple more minutes of recording, so I'll text you afterwards to see what's going on. Alright. Alright. Finish this guy off. And then Matthew was saying me I could jump from this area to the next. But I'm used to um whatchamacallit? Dark Souls 2 and Matthew told me it was the same thing and it wasn't. Uh, hold B and then hit B again instead of hold B and L3. So, that made me gramp, but luckily it was coming to the end of the thing, so I could, instead of rage quitting, I just was like, oh damn, now we gonna end it here. Yeah. Alright, thanks for watching, Holmes. Bye. Thanks for watching.
Dank so.